Hello, this is Elena from Merrick Slooms. Today, I'm just here to talk about a couple very basic techniques that you can use when weaving tapestry. The first thing I'm going to talk about is just weaving a simple line. The second is sumac, and the third is raya. So let's get started. So first, we're just going to talk about how to weave a basic line across. One of the great things about a Merrick's loom is that it has this shedding device. What a shedding device does is that when the shedding device is in one position, it lifts up half your warp threads. And when the shedding device is in another position, it lifts up the other half of your warp threads. So instead of having to weave over and under, over and under, uh, you can just use the shedding device to lift your warp threads and then you can just bring your weft thread right through them. So it's very fast and easy. Now, one thing to remember about weaving a basic line in tapestry is that when you weave one pass across, you're actually only weaving half a line. So you're only covering half the warp threads. So you need to weave another pass across to actually make a full line. So Weaving two passes across is actually what will cover up all of your warp thread. So now we're going to talk about sumac knotting, which is a fun technique that doesn't require you to really pass through your warp threads. So you're going to put your shedding device in a neutral position so none of your threads are lifted. And you're going to take your weft thread and you're going to bring it over two warp threads and then under one and then over two so over one of those that you just went over and then the next one and under one and then over two and under one and you're just going to keep doing that and you can see that it is forming this really fun pattern here um, i like showing this in a class about textural tapestry uh, because it's a great way to show some texture and even though I'm using the same color as I have below here you can really see that difference it's a, it's a fun way um, to just subtly show some texture so you just keep going across just like that. And then you put your loom in either shed um, and you continue weaving. Easy. So now we're going to do a fun little technique called raya. Now the first thing you do for raya is you're gonna need to cut equal length pieces of whatever uh, fiber you are going to use. Um, and then you can either do this in just one section or you can do it all the way across. But what you do is you take that piece, you loop it around two warp threads and then back under just like this. And then you pull it down. And this makes a kind of fringe on the front of your tapestry. So just like that. Isn't that fun? And then you can either leave these long or you might want to trim them and make them shorter. You might want to do something where you have a little bit of fringe here and then you weave up in different colors here and maybe put some fringe here. You can really experiment and play with this but it's very easy. And again, so you have your piece of weft thread, you have your two warp threads, and you just bring it around just like that. Now, one other thing I want to talk about is weaving with different weights of fiber when you have your loom in a certain set. So our loom is set at six dense per inch. We have a six dense coil on the top of our loom. Um, and so this set is perfect for the majority of the fiber that we will be using, like this and this and this. 
Um, but some things that we're going to be using, like roving, uh, is too thick to fit in this set. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to put our shedding device again in a neutral position, just like it was for both the sumac and the raya. And instead of going over and under one warp thread, we're going to go over and under two warp threads. And basically what this is going to do is make our set the equivalent of three dense print instead of six. So let's try this here. I'm gonna tape my roving and I'm just going to weave through just like this. This is a good example. You can see how much easier it is to weave with the shedding device. <laughs> um, so I'm actually just gonna do a little pigtail here on the edge, and then I'm going to come back through just like this. Bring this through. Now at first it might look like your warp threads are actually going to show here, but once it gets all scrunched down, it is actually perfect. You see that? So that's another way to add a lot of texture uh, that's really fun. And you can see how I did that here. Um, I have my raya on the side and then I have this. And I might want to do uh, a, another row of raya or two or maybe some just regular plain weaving right there to make these sides equal. So one of the things that is really fun about tapestry is that you don't have to build up everything at one time. So there we go. Those are a few basic techniques to use in your textural tapestry.